What is the most important thing that will determine the outcome of someone's life? The ability to read. Reading is like a key to a door. It's so important, it's so powerful. That alone, in every way, creates a change in life. Because I did such a good job with mom in the garden. Certain people are being left behind. Each little person has their own set of gifts and possibilities to give to the world. And it's heartbreaking when that doesn't happen because they don't have the key to open the door to a richer and more meaningful life. Our children need to be able to read well by the time they finish third grade if they're going to be successful in school and in life. Read Charlotte is a community initiative with the express goal of doubling third grade reading proficiency from 39% to 80% by 2025. Montclair is a Title I school. A very high percentage of the kids who come are low income. Low income kids carry more risk. They carry some trauma out of poverty that other kids don't have to have. While they are low income, they are not low achieving. They have all the potential, but it's about resources and about wrapping them. Working with Selwyn Presbyterian has been a tremendous opportunity for Montclair. Not only do they support our students every single day, but they support our staff every single day. I don't have enough hours in the day to do one-on-one. -on -one. These tutors are being able to pinpoint certain things that the students need to build their fluency and to build their confidence and their foundational skills. This year, we entered into something new through the Transformation Network that Reed Charlotte has initiated. This wonderful network of schools are agreeing to partner with Reed Charlotte to really take things to another level in terms of goals around students learning how to read. The Transformation Network is making a difference here at Montclair. At Sterling Elementary. At Nations Ford Elementary. At Reedy Creek Elementary School. And it's happening across Charlotte-Mecklenburg. Will you join us in the fight for literacy? For me, that jump from 39 to 80% is Allison and Dulce and Fatima, who I work with every week. That is what makes the goal possible. If you've ever wanted to be part of something bigger than yourself, this is your moment to transform lives through helping children do one very basic thing, which is learning to read. This isn't about children not achieving. It's about us in the community not helping children to achieve their full potential. We have the blueprint for how to improve early literacy in our community. What we need are the people. If we each begin to wrap each school and each child and each administration, we can do this. We will get them to read because that will reset their life forever. <laughs>